Shalom, Shalom. Barakatah Yahweh, Barakatah Yahweh Shah, Barakatah Yahweh, Barakatah Yahweh Shah, Barakatah Yahweh, and Barakatah Yahweh Shah, the true name of the Heavenly Father and His Son. I also want to say double honors to the elder apostle Great Millstone, who ruled well and who taught us this truth, the men of um, GMS. All right. I want to say salutations and shalom to the hopeful elect that I came out there risking their lives and freedom to spread the gospel throughout the four corners of the earth in faith, sincerity, and truth, presenting their bodies as a living sacrifice, as the scriptures do say. All right. I also want to say shalom to the Aqua, the few sisters that do listen to us as well and acknowledge the truth. Um, this is the brother Yaramaya from the Great Millstone Chicago camp, basically coming to you with another lesson. This uh, lesson is um, going to be entitled, Come on, Craig. All right. Uh, many of you Israelites, it's many of you Israel, all of them, if not, you know, you might have to question your genealogy. <laughs> Just a joke. But, um, yeah, man, many of you Israelites are familiar with that movie Friday, man. And this truth is like at the end of the movie Friday, when the dude Craig, he um, played by Ice Cube, beat up um, Debo, you know, the bully of the neighborhood or whatever. Just, you know, in that movie, you know, shows you a lot of nigga shit. You know that that um that black black culture that black exploitation. All right, but when the thing about it, his father was commanded him. You know to be conditioned in the battle. You know Debo was a big guy, uh, tiny Zeus Lester. In the '90s, that that dude was fucking huge, man. All right, but he he was beating Craig ass, and Craig was getting him some. You know they was having a fight, and he was saying, "Come on, Craig, get up, Craig." And the dude, the bully, was telling him, "You know, get get beat down like your old man used to. Get get beat down." You know, and shit, Craig, you know, he was doing a fight. And ultimately, he beat Debo's ass, man. Because this is a part of manhood, you know, and doing a fight. You know, I had did another lesson. It's a couple lessons back called, um, you know, cast away them Jody demons, man. You you got to you gotta be like Pops, like Craig's father told him, man. That's what the scripture tell you, hey. You know, you got to take heed to the father's instructions, man. To the most high, you know, the elders that he set up over you. You know, just you an example, man. You know, his father was telling him. Hey, come on, Craig. Get up, Craig. Keep fighting, Craig. And that's 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 how you gotta be in the truth, man. You gotta be a man. He said, "Be a man, Craig. Be a man." You know. And um, basically, I'm gonna get right into it. You know, we can't be like Jody, all rebellious and effeminate, with his head up his woman's ass. You know, you gotta be like Craig, man. All right. This is Job of uh, thirty-eight and one. It says, matter of fact, this is um. Yeah, Job 38 and 1, this is the Most High speaking to Job. He said, Then Yahweh answered Job out of the whirlwind and said, Who is he that darkened counsel by words without knowledge? All right. So he asked Job a question. The verse 3, he says, This is the point. He said, Gird up thy loins like a man, for I will demand of thee and answer thou me. And the Lord, you know, he demands the service of us ultimately. So basically, he he told him to gird. He told him to do something. He told him to gird up thy loins like a man, and that's what we do in this truth, man. We can't have that Jody spirit, man. Where we don't want to fight, you know. We just want to be lazy. We want to be at our mama crib. We want to be at our baby mama crib. All right, head up our woman's ass. You know, another brother like like that dude named Melvin. Melvin, you know, in that movie that was popping his mama. He was trying to show him how to be a man, man. He was trying to give him instruction. But this Jody was a rebellious, wicked nigga, man. Then he had, then the, 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 you know, we can learn a lot from those simple movies, man. He had his head up some woman's ass, all right, that, that ultimately left her man when he got locked up. He was getting out when he got locked up and had a baby by this wicked-ass nigga Jody. And um, he still had his head up the woman's ass, man, and he was getting destroyed, man. He couldn't even get his little hustle on. And the Lord basically kept jacking him up through the whole movie, man, because he was a rebellious, lazy Coon ass nigga, man. He didn't want to be a man. They get a preload to that movie. They said, um, 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 um what did the boy call his, um, John Singleton wrote it. He said, oh, oh this is a baby boy. And that was one of the different movies. He said, um, what does a boy call, what does a man call his friends, his boys? What does a man, what does the black man call his, um, his, his house, his crib? Who he look up to? His mama. Because he's a baby. Now, right? And then, and that was the truth. It was the truth, because he a goddamn baby, man, you know? But you can't be a baby, man. We warriors and men, man, which goes back to the topic, man. You know, come on, Craig. You got to gird yourself up like a man. This is um, 2 Timothy, the second uh, the second episode of Timothy. 
All right, this is um, written by the Apostle Paul. This is um, the second, second Timothy, the second chapter, in the first verse. It says, Thou therefore, my son, be strong in the grace that is in Yahweh Shai, Mashiach Yahweh Shai, you know, who the world calls Jesus or whatnot. Verse 2, And the things, and the things that thou hast heard of me among many witnesses, the same commit thou to faithful men who shall be able to teach others also. Going back to, to, to with the things that the elder apostles taught us. They taught us how to be men. They taught us how to be Israelites. You know, they taught us to be spiritual warriors, man. And uh, uh, leaders in the nation of Israel. All right? Through the law, statutes, and commandments. See, how about Shimei, how Shai. So Paul was giving those same things to Timothy. All right? This is verse 3. The point, it says, Thou therefore endure hardness as a good soldier of Mashiach, Yahweh Shai. No man... And no man that ward entangleth himself with the affairs of this life, that he may please him who have chosen him to be a good soldier. Hey, because when Craig, Craig was having a damn fight, you know, he, he couldn't, he really had to snap out of it at the end. And it ultimately bust, bust the guy Debo shit, man. Because he wasn't thinking about, you know, you can't, in this battle, man, this is an epic battle, man. Rocks every second of the day, man, in spiritual warfare. All right, we can't think about the things of this this world, you know, because we might be distracted from the battle. Like like going back to the Jody thing, man. This dude had his head up his woman's ass. All right, uh, he had his head up his mama's ass, and he he couldn't he he didn't have no control of his life. But this he is that dude Craig, you know, he was listening to his father's instruction, man, and he ultimately you won the battle, you uh, know, you know. His father's instruction was, you know, come on, Craig, be a man, Craig, fight like a man. Because he was in a war, all right? This is um, verse 3. Thou therefore endure hardness as a good soldier of Yahweh Shai, Mashiach, because we, we're going to go through hardness. We're going to go through trials, tribulations, you know. Your woman might get the bugging out on you, might want to leave you or leave you or be a demon or whatever. You might get fired. Be down on your luck, so-called luck, all right, for, for a season or a time being. But these are the trials and tribulations that make an um, experienced man, you know. It'd be a man. It's a, it's a battle. Like Craig, you're doing battle. We don't care about that, man, stuff anyway. I got a scripture real quick. This is a uh, Sirach, an apocrypha, because we ain't entangled ourselves with the affairs of this world. I think it's the um, 30th chapter. No, it's Sirach 33 and 19. It says, give, thy, give not thy son and wife, thy brother and friend, power over thee while thou livest, and give not thy goods to another, lest it repent thee, and thou entreat the same again. So basically, you know, he was saying you can't be entangled with the, with the affairs of this world, just a precept to that. He said, give not thy son, thy brother, and thy friend, power over thee while thou livest, all right? And give not thy goods to another, lest it repent thee, and thou entreat for the same again. Just like perfect example, right? A lot of these Negroes and Spigroes out here, Finna go celebrate that madness called Christmas, so-called Christmas, that wickedness, all right? And, you know, the first thing they're going to say is they're going to do it for the kids. But the fucking kids, you allowing your kids to pass through the fire, man. That that demon, that Saturnalia demon out there, that Moloch demon, all right? All them demons, man, that satanic-ass ritual, Xmas, that, that murder demon, that Christmas demon, all right? It's out there, and you're talking about you're doing it for the kids. Why don't you research it and look it up and find out it's wicked? Read Jeremiah the 10th chapter, tell you to go not in the way of the heathen, for the customs of the heathen are vain. You know, you paraphrasing, you you quoting it, and you know, to the best of my ability. But why don't you learn that and teach your kids that this is vain, this society, this is wicked. All right, this is, is a satanic ritual. All right, but but they give a woman and their children power over them in the society because they entangled with the affairs of this world. They ain't season for the battle. You know, like like Craig's father told him. You know. Day and day into this madness and this folly. All right? So in this truth, you know, you, you can't be like that. Matter of fact, I'm going to read it over and read it a little bit down. This is Sirach 33 and 19. Give not thy son and wife, thy brother and friend, power over thee while thou livest, and give not thy goods to another, lest it repent thee, and thou will treat the same again. As long as thou livest and have breath in thee, give not thyself over to any. For it is better that thy children should seek to their courtesy that thou shouldest stand 
to their courtesy. In all thy works, keep thyself to preeminence and leave not a stain in thy honor. All right? And, and, and that's how it is, man. You got to stand for something. The scriptures say you stand for nothing. It's a lucky. It's a lucky. Not the scriptures. It's a saying in the world that, you know, you stand for nothing. You will fall for anything. And that's how Negroes are because they, ain't, they, ain't, they don't stand for anything. They don't stand for shit, man. They stand for white supremacy. They stand for black culture, which is white supremacy, man. And when you a man seasoned and conditioned as a battle, you know, you ain't gonna stand for that madness. So ultimately, you know, I hope this video was surely edifying, man. You know, brothers, you know, embrace your manhood, you know. And when we talking about manhood, we're not talking about the manhood of the world, which is uh, taking your kids to the park every goddamn weekend and, and like like we just read, giving giving yourself, giving your power. You know, the scripture says, matter of fact, I'm, I'm gonna get that one too. Proverbs 30 and 3, give not thy shrift to women, nor thy ways to that which destroy kings. Right, or laying, having your head up a woman's ass all day, you know, being a perfect husband, a perfect father. And it ain't nothing, you know, wrong with being a, a, a decent man. You know, you ain't supposed to be, you know, um, um, a desert goddamn tyrant all the time. You know, it ain't about that, but it's about being a man that the Lord made you to be. The Lord makes a man to be, I mean, the world makes a a man to be a man with his heads up his women and his children's ass, you know, and he he's a Jody and, and not a Craig, you know. Even though Craig was a damn nigga, Craig was, you know, I was just using that scene, him fighting for the battle. You know, I'm a, I got children, you know what I'm saying? I got baby mamas and all this shit. And they know they ain't finna deal with no madness like no fucking so-called Christmas. No, none, none of this madness. I'm just using that as a slight example, man. Hey, since you gotta lay down the law, man. And if they don't like it, they can beat it. But, you know, because you'll end up fucking falling off. But uh, with that being said, you know, hey, be a Craig, man, not a Jody. I hope that was edifying. All praise, honor, and glory due to you. How about Shimmy? How was Shy? Double honors today at Apostle Great Millstone. Just a random thoughts I had on my mind to the hopeful of life. Shalom.